What's up guys, Everything Fish here, bringing you Native Fish Care Episode 5. This episode is going to be about the bluefin killifish. Scientific name is Lucania gadii. Doesn't have any other names as far as I'm aware of and that I've researched. Family is Fundulidae, which is killifishes, and the origin, according to the USGS, is Throughout Florida, except in Panhandle, only as far west as Choctawatchee River drainage and southeastern Alabama and Chipola River drainage, Page and Burr, 1991. Sporadically along Atlantic coast as far north as central South Carolina, where it was possibly introduced. Where I have actually encountered it myself when I was on vacation there this year. It was described by Mehenek in 1991, so it was a pretty recent described fish. There's this male here, beautiful color. You can see that the males have more drastically colorful fins. They have blue caudal and anal fins and the red... Oh, I'm sorry. Blue dorsal and anal fins and a red caudal fin base, whereas the females are pretty bland. For tank size, a 5-gallon would work for a pair, but a 10-gallon could hold hold five or six so it'd be better for breeding or just a species tank if you just want to set one up for them max size is about one and a quarter to two inches and these are pretty peaceful community fish experience is moderate believe it or not they're pretty hardy fish but males can occasionally beat up on other fish bigger than them so I just keep them with hardier fish that can avoid them this big male well not really that big compared to other fish in this tank He's actually the dominant fish in this entire tank, and I've got red side dace in here, which are pretty dang aggressive fish. Their mouths are pretty dang big for minnows. I actually thought they were uh, salmon fingerlings when I first caught them. But anyway, for feeding, these guys are omnivorous and feed them brine shrimp, mysa shrimp, bloodworm, spirulina, insect larva. They'll also graze on a lot of algae growing in their tank. Let's see if I can zoom in any more on this guy. Temperature range would be ideally 66 to 78, but they can tolerate a little bit lower and a bit higher than that. They are Floridian fish, so they can go pretty high. Try to get the best angle for him. Beautiful fish. pH should be around 6.5 to 7.5. And for activity level, this really depends on the individual. Some can be really, really shy, while others are playful, and some other ones are even boisterous. Like my male right here. Best tank mates would be timid community type natives, such as Notropus species, shiners, darters, and other native killies. Decor would be the most important, well, let me rephrase that. For decor, it's really important to have plants in their tank. I have a whole pile of hornwort up here. And hornwort or java moss would be a really good addition for their tank. You don't have to have it, but they're going to do way better in a tank with one or both of those two plants. If you don't want floating plants or live plants in general, you can just use floating spawning mops or sinking ones for that matter, depending on the tank size. That works just as well. They don't really thrive in tanks that don't have some kind of greenery, whether it's live or fake in it. That doesn't mean just go use a cheap plastic plant. There's something bushy like corn mortar or java moss, like I was saying. And bluefin killifish are great native killies that do well in planted community settings or species tanks. And they're quite easy to breed as well. Mine have bred a few times, but they normally eat the fry. And for those who have experience breeding killies, these should be no problem. Be sure to keep them in a densely planted tank with lots of cover. And that's pretty much all for these guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video about bluefin killifish. Feel free to leave suggestions for the next native fish care. And I will see you guys next time.